Well, maybe that's the difference, the Ford badge. In fact, this test isn't about that. The question I'm asking is, Ambiente, Trend or Titanium? Which one would you choose? Savvy investing is best left to the experts. And when it comes to offshore investing, it's even more important to talk to an expert. Well, Earl Don from Forexpert is the guy you should be talking to for your offshore investments. Never lean against a car, they say. Be a motoring journalist, they say. I spent two days with the Territory and because I liked it so much, I thought I'd have to get a second opinion. But there was no one else around and I got desperate. So, Helen. Listen, Leadfoot. <laughs> Listen, Leadfoot. We're going to discuss your fuel consumption. Let's just get that back into the public domain again about you and fuel. 9.9 litres per hundred. What? 9.9. .9. Oh, that is typical it Leadfoot is, and it's totally disgusting. I, th I think you could get it done a little bit, but it is a little bit heavy on juice. No, That's it, the only... it, should be, it should be in the eights. It's a small at, little... At the worst. Well, they claim seven, but I don't know how you're going to get It should be there. in the eights at worst. I don't know how you get there, but Look, okay. forget about it. Fuel Leave that alone, the okay? The car is irrelevant. The point I, about this car... I loved it. The I point about this car... It. Okay, there are two things, and the, I'm focusing in this test on certain things about this car, Okay. I took it on a dirt road. Is, I see that. Yeah. Now, you see that badge? That badge there. The Ford badge. The, the thing about that badge is, yes, it's the Ford badge. It's Ford legend in South Africa. It's the Ford heritage in South Africa. But this is a mid-sized family SUV uh, built, built mm, in China. It's not, it's not mid-sized. It is large. It's a medium family SUV. Have, that's the category no, I, I would put I, in. I disagree. Let, let us agree to disagree. Pop it up. Have a look at the space. Alan. I know. It's it massive. It is absolutely monstrous. You it's could massive. Have, you could have a rugby scum with Bucky's Boerter and even Itzabeth in there and you would not notice. I know. The, the it is huge. space in the back. And, and but remember, now, the carry on. Come the driving here, position is set for me. Carry on, please. Boot. Boot. Enormous. Now. This is not mid-size. This is large. It's a large mid-size. This is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Have it any way you like. <laughs> this is a good one and a half Allen boot. It's a good three Allen boot. No, it's a one and a half. Oh, you and you, you can put three of you lying on top of each other. And just keep quiet and come sit here and join me. Oh my goodness. Okay, because what I'm, my point here, now you say you've enjoyed driving it. It's the four cylinder 1.8 turbo, 138 kilowatts, 318 newton meters of torque, seven speed dual clutch transmission driving the front wheels. You never remember the stats, so I may as well quote them to you. I quoted them five times in my video already. <laughs> okay, so now, the point about this is, those are all good numbers. I drove it plenty on the launch, and a little bit now, and I'll drive it again before mm. we finish the test. I'll let you get your paws on it for a change. You'll... Look what it cost me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, your... Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what? There's a bit less of you, but it doesn't affect your mouth, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, all right, you got that I've in. Got you that got one. that one. <laughs> but now look. So. What I want to talk about yeah. here is, I mentioned just now at the front of the car, the Chinese onslaught on the South African market. You, now, and, I, you and I came to exactly the same conclusions. Yeah, okay. Ford have woken up and have responded, and this is the response. This is it. Now you've got... A, Chinese vehicle, which it is, let's unashamedly so, but with a Ford badge. I'd like to mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. if there's just a little bit of yeah. competitive rivalry mm -hmm. between the two manufacturing facilities. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm <laughs> I sure will bet is. the local guys have gone mm -hmm. over this thing with a fine tooth comb to see how well it's assembled. They're going to have to get a very mm -hmm. fine comb yeah. and a very fine tooth one at that because the build quality mm -hmm. on this car yeah. is good. But now, <laughs> my actual issue with this car, and I'm going to You'll hear it in the video. I'm focusing on one thing. Notice I use the word focus, but unfortunately it's not the focus anymore. No, hey? it's a bit bigger. That you, was could a good... fit, you could fit a couple of focuses yeah. in here. Foci. Foci. <laughs> <laughs> but now, there's three models in the range. Okay? The Ambiente, the Trend, and the Titanium. This being the Trend. This is the mid... Now, this is the middle kit. Right. Okay. 
you know the old middle kid syndrome? I know where you're going mm. with this. You're yeah. going to go mm. with mm. the Allen. Should we buy the entry or should we buy the top? Mm. Because the mid doesn't make sense. And, mm. you know, when I was driving along, I was thinking about that because I had little Alan sitting on my shoulder here going, nye, 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 middle range. I actually think this is the one to get. No, I totally I'll disagree. You, I'll tell you why. I totally disagree I'll with tell you why. Because it's got enough of the toys you do want. Yeah. So I'm making a case for the middle here. No. You can make the case for the entry and the top, but no. I'm making a case Look, for the middle. I will always make a case for the top for one reason. Safety. Safety, safety, and more safety because of the... Uh, Standard ADAS, as they call it these but, days. Let's just call it. I'm talking that full but suite going, of going lane departure. 576 packet. entry, 632 yes. middle, yes. 707 for the top. I agree. That's my okay. point. Yeah. Now, I, that's why I'm saying the middle child here comes into the old story of I would either go bottom or top, and I would. I, but the, but now Ford, I don't know. I, you know, you do your sums, you do your homework, you do everything. There's a massive gap between. Bottom and top here, it's, which it's, is where this one yeah, comes yeah, in yeah. because it fills that gap. But yeah. if I was buying, if I was buying with your own money, with my money and putting my own hard earned money down that you want to keep stealing from me. Oh, so, far, <laughs> so far, I've successfully achieved none of it. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is that it's, I always work a 10 percent gap. Yeah, this to is more than that. Yeah. Is bridgeable. No, yeah. is bridgeable. Yeah. Now it's roughly 10%, 630 to 707. Oh, okay, you're talking between the gap, between, between the models. The yeah, model. yeah, yeah. So what Ford have done very neatly yeah. is the 10% from the Ambiente to the trend, yeah, 10%, 10 from yeah. trend to titanium, 20 plus percent from Ambiente yeah. to titanium, yeah. Yeah. which I see the problem, but at the same time, I'm struggling I think that what I'm saying to you is that what this one's got that the Ambiente doesn't have, would I would just go and get the Ambiente. I, 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 I would, I would, I'm going, I'm going to, I'm going to a little bit there because I haven't driven the Ambiente. Yeah. That is the one I would be interested in driving. Okay. As opposed to driving the top of the range right. one out of interest. Let me just explain to you. Same powertrain, yeah, same, course, gearbox, same gearbox, but same everything. Across that's all where, three. Across, yeah. that's, my, that's my problem. Does the Ambiente here. have a power tailgate? No. Okay. So okay. it, it, and it has cloth, it has cloth, cloth seats, seats instead yeah. of leather, which some people prefer. Does it have cruise control? I would have to double check double that one. Check. Okay. okay, that one I'm gonna. And digital display for the dash. Much more basic. Okay. And a smaller screen for infotainment. Now I can live. Yeah, if, yeah. It's it's it's, it's if I want a little budget, budget and if off, it's yeah. a budget yeah. issue, yeah, I can live without those. Okay. And I think the wheels are one inch smaller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's things like that which I get what Ford are doing, but I'm saying then I'll pay five seventy. Yeah. Instead of 707. You, you always make a compelling case, but no. I, 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 I'm still with the but. You know, it's a case Just of remember one thing. The, now, this is not financial advice, but just a very rough number. Is your monthly payment on about a five year between an Ambiente and a Titanium mm. is two and a half or thousand rand a month. Yeah. No, that's, that's a lot of money. It is a, it is a chunk of the change. The 1,200 odd rand it is from, a the one, from the train to the Titanium is... Much more bridgeable. But but if I'm going to be getting into this car mm. every day, mm. which I'm going to be if I'm going to yeah. be buying one mm. of these because it's that, it, it really mm. is that good. Mm. That doesn't worry me as much because I would, I would justify it in my own mm. brain for the for the for, yeah, for the toys I'm getting. Look, out of it. At, but, the, at the end of the day, it's all about what you can afford. But even what your bank manager says you can afford. But even at seven oh seven, let's compare that with what this thing's going head to head with. Right, and we know what it's going yeah. head to head with. And it's, and, and it's in their face, and it's significantly cheaper. Well, significantly well, cheaper. Well, or at the same level as some of the opposition, but it's got that Ford badge. I'm just, well. Which, it's, it's the same as, why do people, and well, yes, I'll say this in this video, why do people buy the Toyota versions over the Suzuki versions of the same car? Well, I'm just, Because it's a Toyota. As I was saying, so mm. if you mm. wanted to go mm. buy an equivalent fortune at 150 mm. grand more mm. than this mm. at at uh, titanium spec, mm. that's a different argument to be had. I mean, there are there, mm. there are going to be guys that do that, but I think that's exactly what this thing has been bought out to do. All right, I think we've we've covered, talked a lot. We've talked. We've talked a lot. We've disagreed for a change. I'm now going to have to work on this fuel consumption I've, figure before I return it to Ford because I've they'll be our disgusted by your fuel consumption if I had to give it back showing that. And I, I'm, I'm dying to see what the sales figures on this thing are going to look like. Which one actually is going to sell the most of?
Let's see. One of us is going to be right and one of us is going to be wrong. You've got a two-thirds chance of being right. Clever, clever. Mm. I see what you did there. And I have a one-third chance of being right. Let's see how it, how it pans out. But I, do you think it's going to sell? I think they're going to sell no, a lot. No, they're going to sell a lot. They're going to, this gonna is going to be a success. Oh, one last thought. Mm -hmm. Can we put it in at the end? What? Who in their right mind is going to buy a Puma? Hello, my name is Michael. I'm the owner of Change Cars and the host of the TV show All Things Motoring. I have one mission and that is to make a difference to the motoring public. Making a difference how? Making sure that you have safe options, making sure that you have knowledge. In that regard, it is my absolute pleasure and privilege to work with Alan Rosenmeyer of Motor Matters. The man with a hat, I'm the man with no hat, he's the man with the knowledge. Thank you for watching. Jumping in behind the wheel, you've of course got your full-on TFT instrumentation in front of me and the pertinent figures, 456 kilometers covered on this test, 8.6 liters per 100 kilometers overall. Now, allowing for the fact that Leadfoot was showing 9.9 .9 while he drove the car, I think I've done a fairly good job and I think a lot of drivers will achieve around the 8 liter per 100 kilometer mark when they drive this car longer term. You've got on this now remembering and we'll talk a lot more that this is the middle trend model you've got cruise control but it's not active cruise control and you've got your other controls on the other side of the steering wheel as you would expect under all normal circumstances so it really is exactly what you expect in all cases what you've got is the nice what they call the one piece across the dash over here with uh, showed you the instrumentation and there's of course your infotainment screen or one part which really does look nice and looks good and I've got to say that much Android Auto you can see wireless Android Auto because it's picked up my phone immediately without being linked or plugged or anything else works nicely interesting you've got your air convents below the screen over here just a different treatment but it looks good it works well and you've got across the dash very neat nicely put together and again kudos you've got proper controls for your aircon system buttons that you can press not just on the screen I keep mentioning that your inductive charging pad over here works nicely and you've got the dual height center console over here with your USBs under here works well not an issue you've just got to plug it in and get it going and then it works fine you've got the very interesting rotary gear shift over here Again, works nicely, no issue. And you've got an interesting little feature here where your cup holders pop out over there, inside here, and you can close that, of course, nice and neat. Over here, you've got your electronic parking brake. You've got uh, your stop-start, which I like to switch out. And, of course, you've got buttons here for operating the infotainment screen and a nice circular knob for volume on your sound system. These are all little things that are useful and nice. The leather trim is useful and neat and nice. All these things are nice and nice to haves. And of course, the biggest thing on this car is the tons and tons of space for a car of this size, of this category, and at this pricing. We've discussed a lot about the pricing in the video. I discussed it a lot with Leadfoot. You've got all the numbers over there. You know what it's all about. So I don't think I have to tell you much more on that point. All I can say is, I think Ford are onto a good thing with this vehicle. And I think it's worth, you in this category, you can't ignore the new territory. Really, you do that at your own peril. For Motor Matters, Change Cars and All Things Motoring, I'm Alan R and I'll see you next time.